Hello, I'm Mark Linden with Baseball Positive, baseballpositive.com. It's the website for youth baseball and softball, parents, coaches, league leaders. What we're gonna talk about in this video is delivering the ball to kids in drills. All right, bat. Don't need a bat. Bats are bad. Bats, we swing and miss. We swing and we pop up. We swing and we shank the ball. We might hit it towards our kid, but oh, it's just a little bit off to the side. They can't get to it. They're standing around, poking each other, getting bored. Maybe lacrosse would be more fun. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the ball. We're gonna toss the ball. We're gonna do it accurately. And this isn't a youth baseball thing. Go to your local Division I practice. You're gonna see that happening all the time because when we roll and toss the ball, we're efficient. All right, we've got our child over there. I know it looks like a bucket, but that's our child at shortstop. We're not gonna go back to home plate with a bat and swing the bat. We're gonna get about 30 feet from our child and we're just gonna roll a ball to him. All right, Johnny? Boom, go get it, awesome. Next kid, Billy, go. Susie, go. Three for three, we go to the, to the right side. Johnny, go. Billy, go. Susie, go. Six for six, probably can get 99 out of 100. All right, now we're gonna do fly balls. No bat, no bat. Again, bats, we have trouble locating the ball where we wanna put it. We're gonna to toss the balls to our kids. Now, some people say, well, you need a bat, they need to see the ball off the bat, which is true, but we deal with that in batting practice and during our scrimmages. In drills, we want reps, and we want every rep to be quality. We're gonna to toss the ball to these kids. You'll notice I'm gonna use an underhand toss. Overhand is fine, but this is much more accurate. It's easier to catch. What we want is good repetitions, good feeds to the kids. Here's Here we go. All right, so we've got one kid at the bucket. There's our kid running out. And we're gonna to toss the ball and lead that kid. Go! Notice the ball is fairly level. Not throwing high pop flies. We want to give them balls that they have to run for. We want to teach them to reach out to catch the ball so they can see the ball land in their glove. And we want them to keep running. Kids have a tendency to slow down when they're looking up in the sky for a ball. They have a tendency to have their hands in here because they don't have a lot of strength in their shoulders to hold up that arm and the glove. Toss your fly balls, get multiple, multiple reps. Okay, now we're gonna to toss balls to a real person. We've got Jerry here working with us. Jerry is 11 and a half. He has a beard, he developed a little early. All right, bat. I'm not gonna to try to bat the ball to Jerry. I'm not gonna do a very good job of that, so we're gonna get rid of the bat. I'm gonna to toss the balls to Jerry. Now, we want Jerry to run back at a 45 degree angle. Jerry doesn't have a protractor in his pocket. Jerry doesn't know geometry. So I'm gonna tell Jerry, you see that fire truck out there? Jerry, I want you to run straight towards that fire truck. But you're gonna look back at me so you can see the ball. All right, ready, Jerry? Go. There. All right, we want our outfielders to do two things. We want them to keep running full speed, and we want them to reach out to catch the ball. We have to do a good job as coaches to lead our kids. We're not gonna be perfect. Don't worry about it. All right, Jerry, you ready? Go. Okay, now we're gonna do full length ground balls from home plate. Again, no bat in the hands. We're gonna do ground balls to short, to the short stops right. left. We've got our bucket of balls. Johnny's ready to go. There you go. Next kid's up, ready to go. Next kid up, boom. 